All right, what's going on, dudes, and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. Since we last left off, nothing really happened because I'm recording this directly after the last one ended. Anyway, I think we're going to take a little break from the Kraken. We'll revisit him a little bit later, but for now, I was thinking we would focus on, on maybe the Ender Tanks and getting to the end, possibly. So that's going to require a, a trip to the Nether so that we can get more blaze rods and uh, we can use those blaze rods to make both the ender tank uh, we need eight total in order to make a pair of these and we're also going to need more if we want to make eye of enders in order to find the portal and obviously we're going to need 12 ish if we want to be able to complete the portal and go into the end so shall we go back into the nether again yeah, what, what, Mr. Guest, Mr. Where, where'd you go, Mr. Zombie Pigman Guest Guy, Interdimensional Traveler Man? Did he actually, did he go back, well, oh, maybe he despawned, that's very possible, actually, maybe, yeah, I, he just despawned, fair enough, I didn't even think about that, oh well, it was nice having him while he was over, he lasted for an episode, and now he's in the despawn limbo, wherever that is, um, I forgot, I, well, let's test really quick whether or not the, the portals work interdimensionally. I don't think they do unless it's been updated since I, I tried it. Well, it's probably been updated a lot um, since a, a long time ago. But anyway, let's see. Boom. And actually, am, am I? I'm a blaze. Okay. I was worried about lava for a second. Um, no, it doesn't work. Thought so. Anyway, we can put that down here and then uh, once we get far away and we want to have an instant transport back, then uh, we just have to remember to use the uh, the right click and not the left click or we will lose our space. Um, time continuum. So anyway, well, uh, oh, why didn't I mark the stupid fortress that I found? Why didn't I do that? That would have been a, a good idea. Um, oh, by the way, I should, I should mine out the um, cobalt um, because... Apparently that is good for Tinker's Construct, and I guess it, Cobalt and Ardite, is it? Put together, make Manulin, or is it another combo? Anyway, when I find Cobalt, I'll just mine it out. So in the meantime, let's go try to find that Stronghold again, and this time I will waypoint it. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier, but uh, a little lapse in judgment on my part. And, oh, Ardite, there we go. Cool. So as we go, we'll just mine that stuff out. I, I think, yep, oh, it was over here. Cool. Not too difficult to find unless, uh, yeah, this is the same one. All right, well, we have our ultimate bow, so Blaze Men should be fairly easy to, to take out. And then hopefully we'll be able to find a few of them, get some Blaze Rods. Hello, Blaze Men. Show yourselves. I know you want to give me your Blaze Rods so I can do cool stuff. Or I should actually probably use my sword on them uh, because looting, come on, there we go. Uh, because the looting will help us actually get more. So, Mr. Blazeman, come out and play. Come on, where are you guys? I know, oh, hey, there is a chest. What could it have for us? Uh, oh, horse armor. We should, you know, we haven't actually, we haven't even like gone and, and found horses yet. It's Maybe it's because of the biomes of plenty of things that they don't like spawn frequently because they were spawning when we were, when I was uh, messing around with the initial worlds. I'm not gonna take two, I don't wanna clutter up my inventory too much. I actually don't know why I brought all the stuff that I need uh, to make the ender tanks with me, but I did. So, just don't mind me. Uh, why is there ant, I didn't know there were ant nests, a red ant, well I guess it would make sense that it's red ant. Uh, what about you, red ant? Eh. Maybe it's just that red ants spawn in the nether, that's probably it. Anyway, keep getting some of you and can uh, can we just get some blaze men spawning, please? Come on, come on. Where where you at? Where you at? Don't make me. There there we go. I was gonna say don't make me cut and then find a bunch of you. Uh, only one. Come on, I'm looting three on those. Let's be generous here. Uh, six. So we need. I mean, we're gonna want a lot actually because if we want to you know, have enough to make both the ender tanks and fill up an end portal. Uh, and that's going to be a little bit of an undertaking. Hmm. Well, I made it. They aren't showing themselves for the most part. So I think um, I might just... 
go ahead and I, I mean there's got to be a spawner somewhere around here I'm just gonna cut until I've either found a spawner or found a bunch of them and then we shall resume Oh, there they are. Never mind. We shall resume immediately because there are more. Um, cool. Okay, just stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Please stay put. Okay. Ooh, give me all your blaze rods. Thank you. And another one down there. We're going to 11. And sneak attack. Oh, get karate chopped. That gave us two more. Okay. And iron ingot. I don't think we need the gold. A couple of saddles. Never too bad. Never too bad. Okay, so is there a spawner in here? Or were we just getting lucky with the spawn? See, what I wish I could do is, as a blaze man, I could just be like, make it rain, blaze rods. I was doing this gesture last time. Oh, wait, there's a, oh, I totally forgot about the icon on the map that I can just see if there are blaze men in a particular location. Hey, I can, oh, there are many. Boom, cool, and wither skeleton, hello. Hey, sir, what's up? Bada bing, bada bam. Okay, and bada bing, bada bam, bada bing, bada bam, 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 from the Flintstones. Oh, 20. Okay, well, uh, let's try to get a little bit more. How are we looking? Okay, there is another one over here, but it's darkened on... The icon is darkened, which means I don't want to have anything to do with you. You guys freak me out. <laughs> them and their, like, j j kill them and they spawn more spiders and blech. Uh, oh, maybe he was down here. Ooh, more places to loot. Just iron horse armor, though. Hmm. Hmm. Plays men anywhere in here? I'm gonna get lost. Hopefully not. Um, you know, I should grab some. Uh, why don't I grab some nether wart as well? Hmm. If any is fully grown, I think it. Why does it say 33%? Isn't that fully grown? Uh, I just shot a portal at that and it didn't work. Isn't that full? Yeah, it's fully grown. Why is it 33%? That's weird. Why are you deceiving me? Um. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. I don't know if we're gonna... We'll probably need it when we want to do Thumbcraft stuff. So, worth, worth getting some. Not that it's too difficult to, to come back at another time. But, yeah, it's cool. More gold. Thank you. Much appreciated. And, let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, uncrafting table. Do we have that? That's from Twilight Forest, isn't it? Uncrafting... Oh, yes, it is. I forgot. Okay, get all the gold things. <laughs> I forgot about, damn it, I, I bypassed some. Uh, hold on, let's get some more. There are blaze men over there. Uh, gold horse armor, and yeah. Okay, here, where, where are, is the blaze men? And where are you, where are you? A couple over there, a couple wither skeletons. Um, oh, there we go, and bam, get owned. Get owned, boom, and boom. See you later, bud, see you later, bud. Okay, uh, what are we up to? 25, I think that'll suffice. Get more cold stuff. Uncrafting table, yes, get all the diamond things. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wanna make that. Speaking of Twilight Forest, uh, there's been an update since we last played it in, in Hexit, so I think it's it's worth going back into. There's like a new structure and uh, and boss thing. So yeah, we can give that a try. We'll, um, we'll de-equip ourselves to like standard vanilla stuff just so we can balance things out a little bit. Um, what just that was weird oh what oh god don't <laughs> that was really weird um some disappearing bridge action i think that's a bug and over here blaze man where are you where are you buddy just one final one boom and i got your rods cool 29 i think that should do because obviously it gives oh that i'm dumb didn't see this one before all right cool three Woohoo! all right awesome well, I think we've got enough. I think we've most definitely got enough. So, let's do... Boom! Whee! <laughs> and... Oh, God. Let's go... Oh, hold on. Chunk's being angry from the quick transportation. Thank you, Portal Gun, for being awesome. All right. Well, I think we're good to go there. So, let's head back home. And we've got, uh, we've got plenty of resources now to... Well, not quite plenty, but, you know... We'll, we'll do what we can. So the ender tanks then require um, ender tank right here. Okay, we can make that. We need a couple more obsidian, and that is it. Uh, we can make one of them, but one doesn't really do us any good. Anyway, let me uh, clear this out. Boom, light on up. Cool. Throw that in and that, and... That, 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 and 
Okay, that, and that, 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 that. Cool. So now, gonna make one of the ender tanks, I guess, and then we'll have to get some more obsidian. Actually, you know what? Let's just get some more obsidian. We know exactly where it is, um, and then we can make both of them because we will have enough resources to do so. Let's run on over to our obsidian supply. And then, oh man, we're gonna we're gonna have an infinite lava supply, but then we're gonna have to make the geothermal generator thing, and and uh, do I don't know if we have the resources for that, but we'll work towards it. We will work towards it, but we can also work towards the twilight forest. I think I just need two more obsidian, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, and oh, I got it. Did I get it? I think I got it. I think yes, I got it. Okay, and let's get this. Don't fall in the lava. Don't fall in the lava. Please, just come into my inventory. You can do it. Yeah, I got I got you. Cool. And back out we go. All right, back over here. No point dilly-dallying, spending more time getting more obsidian. We'll just get it when we need it, which will probably be soon knowing our luck. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Cool. It is Ender Tank time, and I'm, I'm hoping I'm not missing anything. This this still has like the same functionality as a, a Tesseract. Um, well, we'll see. Okay, so two, 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 two. Oh, I need to make the cauldron first. Duh. Uh, cauldron and double cauldron. Double cauldron action. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. 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 Boom, boom, double ender tank. Cool. Well, that'll work. That'll work. And so I, I think it works the same way as the uh, the ender chest because it's from the same mod. And, um, oh, God, what are you doing? Rude. Very rude. Oh, what? What the? That's a weird little orb looking thing over there. <laughs> anyway, um, so it has the same, like, three, three wool thing on the top. Um, so we can have, like, different frequencies and, and whatnot. Um, similar to the Tesseract. So, well, where do we want to put this? Um, I suppose we're going to want the, um, you know, we could do, hmm, I'm trying to think. We probably want to start off by just letting the ender tank power our ME system because that'll be indefinite, uh, or inf infinite, infinite power. And then we won't have to worry about the, you know, this thing overflowing when it runs out of power from the quarry, and then we can still use fuel to power the quarry, and then we can make more ender tanks and have the lava supply shared between all three, and then geothermal generators and stuff. So, okay. Anyway, uh, so the geothermal generator is probably going to replace that, I think. Uh, yeah, well, I think we can destroy the ender tanks, right? After we place them down. I hope. I really hope. So, yes, we can. Okay. So, it's don't have to worry quite as much uh, about that. Um, okay, so cool. We'll just place it down there for now and then we'll go and set up the, uh, we'll do the pump setup in the nether and see if it works. Why not? Should be cool. So uh, allow me to just um, skip through. I'm gonna make the pump and stuff and then we'll go right to setting it up in the nether. Okay, so I think we've got all the necessary stuff. Let me just combine the mining well and the tank so we can get our pump. And I didn't even realize, I, I guess the portals are stored per dimension because despite the fact that we, we shot some down in the nether, we, we still have the ones here. So that, yeah, I can easily go between this room and, and this room without having to walk through the doorway. Oh my goodness. Anyway, okay. So we have uh, pipes, redstone engines. Oh, I need uh, levers. Um, you know, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna store a stack of cobblestone and, and wood into here just so we don't have to go back and forth. Um, and then, because from now on, we're not even going to be taking any more cobblestone or dirt on. So, you can just leave a bit in here for easy access. So, anyway, we're going to need uh, just a couple levers and then sticks. I wish, I wish, the one thing I wish is that this worked like the uh, creative one where it would clear every time you type in an item uh, automatically. Just because I have to delete the word every time. <laughs> but, uh, oh well. Anyway, so a couple levers. Boom, boom, and boom, boom. I actually may have had some levers in there. Let's see, lever. Uh, I have 14. Should have grabbed those. Whatever. Okie doke. So back into the nether we go, and it's going to be great. We'll have to make our, like, geothermal generator thingamadoohicker. Um, oh, do we want to... 
Do we want to change the frequency? Oh, what the heck is that? A darkling? From what mod are you? Uh, hi. From, it's not, oh, wait. Uh, from, hold. Uh, ours Magica. What the, are you mean? Oh, you're mean. Oh, you're mean. Rude, don't, don't be rude. Wow, okay, see you later, bud. He exploded into a bunch of parts. All right. Uh, you know, do we, well, we can, yeah, let's just set it up, and if we want to change the other color on it, then we can. What is that? Why is there a gravestone? Hmm? What the heck? Uh, can I, if I destroy you, does something happen? It's not my gravestone. No, nope, it's just gravestone. It was just for added creepiness. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that, that's cool. So. So, okay, Lava Lake. We want to, I guess we can, the pump will extend down into the lake, I believe, uh, regardless of how high up it is. But, so I don't know if we want to um, build it right off of here, maybe, or if we want to actually go down just so it's right on top of the uh, the lava, like down here or something. Because it may, I, I don't know, it may make it work quicker off the bat. But anyway, yeah, let's do it. So let's grab some flesh. You know, oh, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't, it just drops chunks of flesh. Nice. I'm going to grab some nether rack instead. <laughs> and then I'll just build build over the, the lake because I, I, I don't know exactly how it works in that I'm not sure if it's like too close to uh, the bank, if it'll start running out of lava supply. Because as far as I know, like it's, it, everyone has told me you need to do uh, the, the pump setup in the nether. For it to work, like you can't just find a lava lake um, underground in the overworld and, and do the same infinite lava pump. Like it has to be something here. So I just want to make sure that I'm doing it right and setting it up, like I don't know, out way in the middle, so it never runs out of lava or something. Um, disappearing junk, nice. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, I know the pump will extend down, but still, don't mind. Actually, I don't need to do that. I am invincible to lava. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's just build it right here. Should work, should work. And make a little platform. I still don't need to hold shift. I'm invincible to lava. Okay, and then we'll make a hole in the center for the pump. And put down the pump right there. Okay. And then I guess we'll just, I don't know, where do we want to put the ender tank? Um, right. Here and boom. Okay, cool. So what is it? Um, I can't remember which is which. One is send and one is receive. I think blue is receive, if I'm not mistaken. So well, fingers crossed. There we go, and that should work. I'm hoping. Okay, I can click on that there. All right, and I guess let's start the engines. Okay, and boom, boom. All right, engine one and engine two, force of habit. <laughs> we just continuing to, to shift and there we go. Okay, so now the pumps initialize slowly and hopefully they will start pumping lava. Oh, I'm gonna need a chunk loader. Uh, well, that's okay. We can grab our chunk loader that's not being used from, the, uh, from our chest and yeah, let's do that. Where did... Where did my waypoint go? What? What? I had. A, I definitely had a waypoint here, didn't I? Yeah. What the heck? Oh, was this cleared when the? I. I didn't realize I hadn't reset it since then. Okay. Well. Um. Portal. Cool. Well, we only have one now, so that's good. And I don't know what do we want to call our portal color blue, just because we already have purple for the uh, the the telepads. So anyway, one sec. Let me go and grab the chunk loader. And we'll place that right next to it. Okay, chunk, chunk loader, cool. Um, yeah, we'll have to make another one here, obviously, so that, uh, well, I don't know if we have to. We'll probably, eventually we'll, we'll make one for, yeah, it's here, once we have the, the power supply going indefinitely, we don't have to worry about, you know, lava being wasted and, and stuff, or not lava, but fuel being wasted. Okay, there we go, and... How are we doing? Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. We have some lava in the ender tank. That's awesome. Okay, so it was on the... Oh, that's filling up pretty quickly, actually. So let's see. It's going. It's going. Okay, well, anyway, we will put down the chunk loader 
right there, and radius probably just one chunk. Show lasers. Uh, actually, it's like right on. It's right on a chunk boundary, so we'll do two chunks, unless um, we can move it. Eh, I guess we. I guess we built this thing like literally right on a chunk boundary. So, or we could do square if it changes anything. Um, is it? Oh, it doesn't. It encompasses the whole thing. Okay. Cool. So we're good. Only need to keep one chunk loaded. And how are we doing on lava? Oh, that thing fills up quickly. I hope it's. I hope it's like a decent amount of lava that's in there. Um, anyway, this should not. Yeah, it should keep going. Shouldn't overheat. Keep pumping lava. Awesome. Well, that was a lot easier than the Tesseract, and we can do multiple of these. It's not even that hard of a setup to recreate if, if we want to, so we'll have lots of lava going. Cool, and that thing is filling up, so now let's check back uh, and see if the pump over in our storage room is filling up as well, because they're both on white, white, white. The uh, the frequency combination thing I'm gonna do hicker. Okay, let's see. Moment of truth. And we have lava. Houston, we have lava. This is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna want orange there. And then we're gonna need a geothermal generator, which uh, I think I have the resources to make, but it may be generator. Geothermal generator. How is this made? Um, well, this will require a little bit of uh, one sec. Yeah, this will require a little bit, a little bit of stuff going into it in order to craft. Um, so I think I might just try to decipher all this between uh, between episodes here. And when we resume, we'll, we'll set up the geothermal generator. I'll look on the wiki just to see exactly how to set it up if uh, it requires any sort of different pipes, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, making sure it's compatible with this. Uh, the ME system, um, but yeah, should be good to go. So anyway, on that note, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be much appreciated. Other than that, uh, I guess I will see you next time.